Okay, howdy. Folks, uh, um, I'd like to discuss a little topic, uh, Bible science topic again. Um, and it's about, uh, one, one issue is about the, the explosion of the Mount St. Helens. Um, it's a very interesting topic. And the Mount St. Helens, it, it says here, it, it's a Dutch, it's a Dutch uh, magazine. Uh, wait, 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 which means uh, uh, n no. And um, one of the issues discussed is the explosion of the Mount St. Helens. Um, explosively uh, discovered, it says, or uh, yeah, uh, revealed actually. Mount St. Helens uh, offered uh, a mini laboratory on uh, catastrophic. Uh, processes uh, to check it out. Uh, anybody who, who reads Dutch uh, can verify that my um, translations are accurate in this case. This uh, thing. Um, one of the issues uh, mentioned here is about um, geology's just Stephen Austin, Steve Austin, Doctor Steve Austin. And um, it is said that, that he was lying about some, some issues uh, of, of uh, uh, radioactive dating. Well, I like to discuss it over here. And um, what he did is uh, the Mount St. Helens in 1980 exploded. And after um, some time, he took in, uh, out of the, the dome of the, when the, 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 the volcano was, was uh, at rest, he took some some stones from it and let them the argon, uh, uh, potassium uh, argon dated. Um, he he knew, of course, because he was familiar with the method, that he said, well, maybe actually the the, the, the rock is too too young actually to be dated uh, because of, uh, of with potassium argon, because uh, actually uh, potassium has a very long uh, uh, decaying uh, uh, rate. And so it may actually be too, young, be, be too young to be dated on uh, potassium argon, but nonetheless he, he, he uh, did it. And um, to his surprise, he found dates of uh, three and a half um, thousands to 2.4 million years old that the stones were. Which means in the time, in the time that he uh, found or uh, took those stones, uh, an amount of argon uh, 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 was present in the stone since the formation. It is assumed by geologists that uh, that uh, a volcano is resetting because uh, 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 the, the uh, potassium argon uh, um, uh, thing, because uh, argon is escaping uh, due, uh, due to the heat and, and uh, it is vented into the air while exploding. Well. The fact that uh, Stephen Austin uh, let these uh, samples be analyzed on potassium argon revealed that even though it exploded and it is assumed, apparently wrongly, assumed that it is a reset moment, it was still a he was still able that there was still uh, uh, the laboratory was still able to find some amount of argon in the rock. Which means that in a an, uh, uh, um, an, um, volcanic explosion, there is no reset, which is assumed to be there. Which also means that um, you can never, you can never uh, uh, determine the age of a rock in volcanic uh, um, uh, explosions ba uh, based uh, uh, accurately and uh, no matter w because th there is always some uh, residual uh, argon in a rock in a volcanic uh, uh, stone rock so that means that that you cannot say uh, um, that this and this stone which which has been deter determined on uh, potassium argon uh, and which has a uh, volcanic uh, uh, background, you can never be accurate with the determination of uh, its age, because there's always a residue from another source 
of argon in the rock to begin with. Yeah? So if you assume that all the argon has been produced from potassium, that is a wrong assumption. Yeah? And Stephen Austin knew this, of course. I mean, he, he's familiar with these kinds of uh, radioactive datings. But nonetheless, he let it, uh, uh, um, even though he, he, yeah, he, he let it uh, anal be analyzed, and he was surprised of the findings. What he actually found is that there is still argon, even at formation of that type of rock. And so he concluded that this type of uh, uh, analysis, if it's not valid for his stones, uh, and he, which he already assumed, then how can it be valid for other types of rocks which use the same type of method uh, based on uh, a potassium argon uh, decay? Because you always have uh, apparently a residual amount of argon that is assumed, wrongly assumed, to come from the potassium present in the rock. Yeah? So the assumption is wrong. So you, this method is therefore wrong as well, only for this argument alone. Okay, that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, there's a lot more to share, uh, but this is one uh, uh, issue which I first wanted to share with you. Okay, hasta la vista.